Hi, my name is Jason Shegdet, and I'm submitting this video in hopes of being hired by your school district in health and physical education. Currently, I am certified in Pennsylvania and New Jersey, and today's lesson is going to be at a middle school in Pennsylvania called Maple Point Middle School. It's one of the middle schools that I substitute at. Today's focus is fitness concepts, and it is part of the fitness games unit, which is what I'm teaching currently. Um, this lesson is going to be number five of seven lessons in the unit. Uh, my Pennsylvania standards that I'm using today, since I am in Pennsylvania teaching, is going to be 10.5.6D, which states, Describe and apply the principles of exercise to the components of health-related and skill-related fitness. This is the, the correct standard that I should be using for sixth grade students. The other standard that I'm using is 10.4.6c, which states, identify and apply ways to monitor and assess the body's responses to moderate to vigorous physical activity. Okay, My hopes is that at the end of this unit, after the end of their summative assessment, that they will be able to um, not only perform, but also understand the material that I've been teaching. The objectives that I'm going to be using today is while playing games of four-team soccer, students will be able to explain how the fitness components were implemented, characterized by cardiovascular endurance, muscular strength, muscular endurance, flexibility, and body composition. That's the cognitive objective. This is what I want them to understand at the end of the lesson and the end of the unit. The psychomotor objective, this is what I want them to be able to perform, is while playing games of for team soccer, students will be able to implement the fitness components characterized by cardiorespiratory endurance, muscular strength, muscular endurance, flexibility, and body composition. The way this lesson is going to begin is they will come into class and they will pick up a jump rope and instantly get moving. So instant activity is what I'm looking for. After about five minutes of jump rope, I will have them sit down and I will review what has been gone over so far during this unit. So far during this unit, we have gone over the importance of lifelong fitness. We have gone over um, heart rate, resting heart rate, their target heart rate, which is what we always want them to reach when working out, and also their maximum heart rate. They have been able to figure this out by checking their pulse. Last class, we went over checking their pulse by checking their neck and checking their, their forearm um, in order to see if they're in their target heart rate. So you will notice during my lesson that I constantly have them stop okay, during their activity and check their pulse, pulse for 15 seconds. And then what they'll do is they'll multiply that by four to see what their target heart rate is. And for the most part, all students should be in their target heart rate because they're working hard during this, this activity. After reviewing what they've learned so far during this unit, I'm going to explain the game that we're going to be playing today. We're actually going to be playing four team soccer and the great thing about this game is that all five fitness components that I go over today are going to be used during this game. So the students are going to be using flexibility. They're going to be using uh, cardio, respiratory endurance, and muscular strength and muscular endurance and balance during this lesson. After explaining the game, I'll set the teams up and the activity will begin. Um, the games are going to be very short because I want to make sure that after a few minutes of being high or vigorously engaged, that students are checking their pulse to make sure they're in their target heart rate. One thing I would do differently if I wasn't being videotaped is I would have music on. Uh, the music would just, it just motivates the students to keep moving and they really seem to enjoy it. Um, because I'm being videotaped, I really want you to observe the feedback that I give to students while they're engaged. Um, what I really think you're going to notice for me as a teacher, I, I'm very enthusiastic and it really rubs off on the students and helps them to work even harder. So that's why I don't have music playing during this, this activity. But once the activity is, is finished, 
I will bring the students in and instead of just letting them leave, what I've been taught so, so far as a teacher is I always assess. Um, and this is just going to be a short formative assessment and it's only going to take a few minutes, but this is going to be their closure. And what I will do with these formative assessments is I will actually go back, I'll analyze their answers, and this will tell me what I can do differently to teach this lesson once I teach it again, or what I need to cover during the sixth lesson, which would be next class. And this is really what's going to let me know if these students have met the Pennsylvania standards and my objectives for the lesson. And the assessment is very short, it's only going to take a minute or two, but it's just an exit slip, so it's one question, they write the name at the top, and the question is, which fitness components were recognized during this game, and how were they used? So if they were playing, if they're playing soccer, okay, they're running around a lot, okay, one of the fitness components that's being used is cardiorespiratory endurance. So they will have to explain, they will have to name the, the component and then also explain how they were using that component during the game. So I hope you enjoy my lesson and I hope to talk to you soon about this position. Thank you. The students have just come into class and instant activity is taking place while they jump rope. Come on over in this class. 
class. So far during this unit. Yes. Okay, what, what is flexibility? What is it? Five fitness components. Very good. We've been talking about our fitness components. Okay? So flexibility is one. What's another one? Muscular endurance. Muscular endurance. What else? Balance. Balance. Very good. Muscular strength. Body composition. Very good. Cardio respiratory endurance. Okay? Now, today we are going to be playing core team soccer. Okay? So we're going to be doing a lot of running. What component do you think we're going to be using? Balance. We'll be using balance, but what else? When we think of running and we're breathing very heavy, what's the main component of breathing? Muscular endurance, that's probably more with lifting weight. A nice try. We are going to be working our leg muscles out. Cardio. cardio. All right, and what does cardio have to do with what muscle? What muscle are we working out? Our heart. Very good. And we went over this in health class. Excellent, guys. All right, so when we're playing for team soccer, here are the rules. There's going to be a goal over here, goal one. Goal two will be in that corner. Goal three and goal four. All right, we're going to have five teams, all right? The team that isn't playing is going to be on the outside of the court. Outside of the court is anywhere off the red mat. So right now, am I in or out? Out. I'm out. out. So if you're not playing, your job is to keep the ball on the court. All right? This is your resting period, okay? Because when you're on the court, okay, we expect you to reach what heart rate when you're engaged. Target heart rate, very good. Okay, now, a few of the rules. Okay, no hands. You cannot use your hand. You can kick the ball, okay? You can dribble with your feet. You can use any part of your body except your hands. You understand? Okay, um, goals need to be on the ground. If the ball is in the air, it doesn't count. Okay, also, if you squirt, that ball is going to bounce around, it comes right back into play, and you continue playing. Your job is to count on how many goals you have. All right? And after we check our pulse at the end of the game, you're going to get with your team. All right? So let's say we're on the same team. I'm going to say, I scored five goals. How many goals did you score? Six. You scored six. How many goals do we have together? We have 11 goals. Our team has 11 in this game. All right? Slater's going to be taking Work, and we're going to see which team has the most goals at the end of the game. As you play, we want to concentrate on the fitness components. What fitness components do you think we're going to be using? Okay. We're going to be using all of them, but you're going to have to recognize how we're using them in this fitness game. Okay. Uh, once again, Games are going to be short. When we rotate, we're going to rotate clockwise. So if you're at court one, where do you go next? You're going to go to that corner. Very good. That's going to be goal two, three, and four. I need boys to line up over here, girls over there. Remember your numbers. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, Three. Goal three 
you're going to be over there. When we set up pole three, remember, it needs to be on the red mat for safety purposes. Three is going to be green.
honest. Where are you in your target heart rate? Raise your hand. Okay. Now, there's a reason that some of you may not be in the target heart rate. Why? When doing crab soccer. Well, you might have been sitting down instead of in the crab position. Very good. You're not moving as much because it is very difficult to move in the crab position. All right. Also, you might get tired and you might have to sit down. It's not like you're running when you're in this position. But even though you may not have been in your target heart rate zone, what are some components that were just used in this game? Balance. Balance, yes, keeping yourself up. What else? Muscular endurance. Muscular endurance. Very good, keeping yourself up, using your arms and legs to keep you up for a long period of time. What else? Flexibility. Flexibility, excellent. Getting yourself in that great position with your arms behind you. Okay? Awesome job, guys. Girls, very nice. Okay? Um, get with your team, put the balls in the middle. Rotate, let's get ready for the next round. Scores. Be 
take that ball away. In the back. We're going to finish our moment of assessment, and uh, that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed my lesson, and I hope to talk to you soon about a possible opening. Thank you.